Jalen Brunson. What? <laughs> 47 and 8 in an OT win over the Bulls and route to securing the 2 seed despite all the injuries. The Knicks closed out the regular season on a five game win streak. They'll now await the winner of Wednesday's Heat 76ers matchup. Now, despite the key injuries this season, the Knicks won 50 games for the first time since 2013, largely on the back of Brunson's MVP caliber season. In his last 10 games, Brunson averaged more than 37 points per game, the third most over a 10 game span in Knicks history, trailing only Bernard King Bird in down. 19. 85. All right, yeah. let's break this down. Let's get into it here. I say, what players are in the East are you taking over Brunson right now? No one. Man, no one. Man, no one. There no one. you go, man. <laughs> no one. No one. No one right now. Now, no, no. talk to me next season, Shannon. Talk to me next season. I stand down. The Greek freak's the Greek freak. A healthy Giannis Antetokounmpo, I get it. I understand. Healthy Joel Embiid, I get it. You understand? I get all of that. Jason Tatum, take all. Absolutely. Right now, for this season, the way those brothers have been compared to the way Jalen Brunson has been, I'm not taking anybody over Jalen Brunson right now, Shannon. Not right now. Not even not JT. Right not you, even JT. Well, you know what? You know what? We, we, we got to see because I believe in Jason Tatum. I believe in him. You know, I think the Boston's going to win it. I, I, I picked them to win it. But I must confess, I don't like their reliance on the three-point shot. I don't like the way they've looked over the last uh, couple week of or weeks so. or so. I think they've fallen off a little bit. And I'm seeing the Knicks ascend. And I'm looking at the pieces around them. And I'm like, this is not supposed to be happening. But it's happening. I saw the brother going to Boston with Tatum and Jalen Brown and them on the floor and beat them. That's what I saw, Shannon. That's what I saw, Shannon. So what I'm trying to say to you right now, a, you can sit up there, of course, from a talent perspective. We can't sit up there and pick Jalen Brunson ahead of these brothers. I know they're more talented, plus they're bigger and taller and all of this other stuff. But in terms of his level of production, compared to what I have seen from other people, I saw Jason Tatum that I had number one in an MVP race months ago. I saw him tail off. I saw Jalen Brunson ascend. Excuse me. Right now, right now, I'm not picking anybody above Jalen Brunson in the Eastern Conference. Nobody. Listen, there's only two little guys that you would even ever think about taking Iverson over a big Iverson guy. Iverson and Isaiah. Well, when you say when I say little guys, anything that's under six six and below. All right, Randy Steph Curry. That's Jordan. That's jo Jordan uh, uh, Curry and, and Kobe. You're right. But you gonna take Brunson over JT? Excuse me. Like I, like I told you before. I'm looking at JT having Jalen Brown, having Drew Holiday, Derek White, Porzingis, and all of that other stuff, and I'm looking at the way they've tailed off, and I have concerns about Boston right now. I'm telling you what I have seen from Jalen Brunson. I'm shocked. I am shocked. I never, ever, ever in my wildest dreams believed that I would see this level of production from a Jalen Brunson. I don't think right now his ability to draw fouls, his ability to get yeah. to the basket, his ability to hit perimeter shots, everything, man. Yeah. I don't think nobody, I don't think anybody saw None that. of us saw it. You could see a little bit of it when, right. when Luka was out in his last year right. in Dallas. A little bit. But you we didn't see this. But you didn't know he could right. go to this, this level, way. but you didn't know a team would turn the reins over to him. That's right. So a lot of times, right. Stephen, you don't really know what a guy is capable right. of because he's in a situation mm -hmm. where he doesn't have everything under his control. Okay. They gave it. Take it. Everything is yours. And he took it and run. I did not know. No, I did not know he had this in him. That's right. And I will concede this. Okay. If you're telling me right now, Joel Embiid is hurt. Giannis is hurt. But I still would take JT over Jalen Brunson right now because at six eight and a half, six nine, oh. I'm gonna take a good, big, a great big man over a great little man. Right. That's just me. But, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. Yeah, but if, but I, but I do. I believe right. you agree with me also. Mm -hmm. If Embiid is healthy, if Giannis is healthy, you're not taking. Brunson over either one of those. No, guys. no, I wouldn't. But I will say this: I don't like how Milwaukee has looked. No, I don't like how Milwaukee. I, I don't understand it. Now Giannis was averaging thirty and thirteen while it was happening, right. but I still don't like the way it, his effect on the his outcome impact, yeah. is not what I expected it to be. Right. And so I'm looking at Brunson. They said, "Listen, over the last seven games, Shannon, six and one record." 38.1 points per game on 44% shooting from three, 8.6 assists per game during this streak. This is what we see from yeah. this brother. You understand what right. I'm saying to you? Right now, in this moment, right. as the playoffs are about to begin, there's nobody in the Eastern Conference that you can definitively say yeah. you'd prefer 
over Brunson right. based on the way he's producing. Right. And, this, and the Eastern Conference is also Dame. And you and I both agree that right now, Brunson is playing better than Dame. He's played right. better this year right. than Dame. Now, maybe n next year, after you're getting acclimated, we understand that Dame is going yeah. through some things right. off the court. That's just and is. hopefully he gets those things resolved mm -hmm. and he can really just focus on basketball. But right now, as you and I sit here and discuss this topic, mm -hmm. other than Jason Tatum, I can't see anybody that I would rather take over. Did Jalen you Brunson. see what I said on NBA Countdown yesterday? I said that if Milwaukee loses... I said, I think you need to consider moving Dame up out of there. It's he not, just let, got there. Let me explain. I'm not talking about his game. He's not happy there. Now, he's got a lot of distractions, which are his business, mm -hmm. and we wish him nothing but the, nothing best. But the best. Nothing but the right. best. Because a lot of us would not be able to handle it as well as he's handling it. But nevertheless, whatever support system that you're looking for, and I'm sure they got love for him and they try to support him or whatever, but it's one of those situations where if you – are not happy in a situation, albeit because of outside reasons. Right. He wanted to go to Miami. Do, do, yeah, and I know he wanted to go to Miami, too. Let, 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 let's call it what it is. Let's <laughs> call it what it is. Miami. I mean, you got all of that going on. That's a lot to deal with. I'm not talking about his game because I believe in Dane. Yeah, for I'm sure. I'm talking about what he has to go through and psychologically how that situation may not be ideal for him. Well, let me ask you this. Sure. All I know is this. At one point in time, they were 30 and 13, That's and they right. fired their head coach. That's right. Now what? And, if you and, lose since in the first Rivers, round. and since Doc Rivers has been there, they're 17 and 19. I think that's a bad look for Doc Rivers if they end up getting bounced out in the first round. But I will say this. Coming in halfway through the season, with Giannis also getting hurt and all of that other stuff, with Dame going through what he's going through, I think that if you're Milwaukee, you give Doc next season. But I remember when Doc first arrived there, remember what my words were. If they don't win by next year, it's the end of Doc Rivers' coaching career.